Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you a new uh, feature that we have been adding to uh, TMS Web Core for Visual Studio Code. In this case, this feature is called Frames. Frames basically are pieces of uh, visual design, that is uh, components that you can place on controls, that you can reuse and embed into another forms. Okay, this is a clean uh, empty application I have just created. And now you have the ability, for example, if you right click here, you can create a new frame. Uh, visually, a frame is basically like a form, okay? You can drop components inside. I'm going to resize this a bit. And I'm going to be adding some labels here. I'm going to be adding some edit controls. I'm going to be adding a button here, okay? So you can visually design your interface. I'm going to change the caption here. I'm going to be naming it submit. And then for these labels, I'm going to change the auto size to false. I'm going to rearrange a bit this. I'm going to align all of them to the left, equal the space vertically, and to do the same for the edit controls. And then to the left. Okay. So now this is a frame that uh, we can uh, now embed into another form. Okay, this is a, an actual form. And now there is an, a new element here on TMS Web that is called Frames. If you click on it and then click anywhere on the form, you will be prompted from, uh, for the frame you want to insert. This will list all the frames you have in your project. Okay, so now this is the, the frame. And we can do that as many times as we need. Okay, so we can insert two, three, whatever. Uh, a nice thing of, of uh, frames is that, that they inherit from the base frame. That means that, for example, if we, uh, I don't know, maybe move all these controls, they will be moved on all the instances, okay? Also, if we add, I don't know, maybe a data picker here on this frame, it will be added also on all the instances. And every change that you make on the, on the frame will be reflected on the uh, frame instances you are using on your forms. Uh, except uh, when you change, you make a change here. If you make a change here and you change some property, that property won't be inherited from the base frame. Okay. So just imagine the, the possibilities you have using frames, for example, for a header and a footer of a, uh, of a website, for a contact form. You know, there are many scenarios where you will be using frames uh, to design your web applications. Thank you.